conversation like with Smith and just your overall feelings throughout the night and obviously the culmination of winning? Well, obviously it's a great night. We feel really good. You know, uh, our numbers are showing us that we were doing well from the very, very beginning, and that's great. I had a good conversation with Mr. Smith uh, in which I thanked him for putting his name forward, and I thanked him for his lifetime of community service uh, and for raising a wonderful family who I've got to meet just a little bit over the course of this campaign. I also asked him to pass on my thanks to his campaign team and all his dedicated volunteers. Well, I mean, we haven't seen the final results yet. It certainly seems like this is a very strong mandate, more than half of the population. And, you know, I also am interested to see what the final makeup of council will be. Uh, and really, it's a matter of working with my 14 colleagues on council to figure out what the right agenda is going forward. I mean, job one, we have to pass a budget in six weeks. And it's going to be very important for us to look at what that budget entails, what it means for property taxes in particular, what it means for the police budget. Uh, and we need to come together on that. So I look forward over the next few days to meeting with all my new council members, to understanding their priorities, to understanding what they learned in their door knocking in their ward so that we could create a strategy for the city. What do you think? Go ahead, Helen. Well, you know, as I said on stage, clearly there is some division. And it's important for us to understand the nature of that division. Because, you know, uh, it's, it's not nice on a, on a victory night to talk about the campaign, but it was a very divisive campaign. And I think that the campaign fostered divisions in the community that may not be long-lasting. And so it's important for us to understand that, but also to remember that we are the city council for all Calgarians. It doesn't matter if you're red or blue or purple. We each have to serve every single Calgarian every single day. That's what I've tried to do over seven years, and that is what I will convince this council that they should think about as well. Leave your partisanship and your party politics and your baggage and whatever issues uh, that you may have at the door. Let's roll up our sleeves and let's get the work done. What about, what about for those Calgarians who don't necessarily fit into, because you mentioned this was a divisive campaign, and there were certain elements that came out of this campaign that are likely different than past ones. But for the Calgarians who don't fit into that particularly hateful or nasty category, ones who are extremely critical, what is your message to them? Well, and those are people that we'll continue to work with. I get to go to work every day and be the mayor for all Calgarians. We've certainly heard a number of messages through this campaign, and it's a matter of listening to those messages and determining how we can be better. You know, it's really a question for them. As I've said for many, many weeks, the city has never left the table. And when they're ready to come back to the table and have a discussion, understanding this mandate from Calgarians, we are ready and willing to have that discussion with them. But do you think they will? Do you think this was a politics play and just wait to see what happens after the election? Again, it's a question for them, really, not for me. Well, you know, I'm not sure uh, whether people will appreciate a completely different version of me. And, you know, certainly that frame was an important one, and I've heard that. I've heard that. I will still be scrappy. I'll still fight for people every day. But I will make sure that people also see that I'm always listening, that I'm always willing to change my mind, and that I'm always willing to hear great arguments.